I guess they call it March Madness for a reason. And also, Mercury was in retrograde, and also, it was my partner's birthday. <laughs> but, ooh, child, the money that was spent. But first, let's actually talk about everything we received. I'll be looking down at my Google Sheets, which is a free program to use if you want to use it. Um, and I'll pop up either on this side or this side what the investments were for the month of March. So my partner gets like mostly all the income and he is a substitute teacher. He missed an entire week of school because he sprained his ankle because he was playing basketball by himself in a basketball court. So he actually received 2,141.46 and that's a difference of 341.46. Um, he also has a Patreon page for poets. And he got $57.25 this month, which we were expecting. And for he also does like edits, he does manuscripts, he does like he has all these skills because he graduated from an MFA program, so he knows how to edit very well. And he got $19.12 for editing this month. And then I'm I ha was having a discussion with my friend about something that may happen in July, which my partner and I will finally be married or wed, I don't know how to say that, get married after nine years of being together. So she gave me $20 and I did not want her to give me $20, but like if you have Venmo with your friends, sometimes they just give you money and you don't even want it. But I'm usually not the type of person that accepts gifts without a fight, okay? Because <laughs> like as a minimalist, I don't feel like I need much. But, um, yeah, anyway, she, she gave me $20. She was like, you better not give it back to me because I'm going to be pissed off if you give it back to me. And I was just like, because she knows me, I would I would have given it back. But anyway, I'm going to just accept the $20. Anyways, um, and like, we're not getting married until July. So that's like a long time, you know? <laughs> anyway, also, we only sold one thing. Like, I, I'm selling things on multiple platforms, multiple websites. We only sold one, which is five pair of my partner's pants when he was a little bit thicker. And um, we sold them for $17, which this guy gave us the hardest time on the planet. He came in livid. My partner came in after dealing with that transaction livid. Um, but yeah, no sales. I don't know what's going on. Um, I might actually pull everything off of the interweb soon because I'm just kind of getting tired of it being around. And I've been selling things for over three years that I'm just ready to just like check out. Well, total we were expecting... 1857.25 we actually received 2254.83 which is blessing blessing and that is a difference of 397.58 now let's go into investments which is scary and we got real loose this month uh for rent 800 the same all the time now food is ridiculous you see that food <laughs> my goal is actually 180 but um but I, like low key, like mentally, it's it's 180, but here I put 200. We actually invested 263.35, but it was my partner's birthday, and instead of going to a restaurant, we decided like the 20 dollars that we would spend at the restaurant we were gonna go to and what with, with what we were gonna get, that he was just going to buy like Dr. Prager's burgers, fries, onion rings, all vegan, and we were just gonna like feast and have snacks. We had ice cream and cones and. And it was very like amazing and filling for $20 rather than going to the restaurant we were going to go to to go get a little tiny sandwich like this that had sauteed red pepper, eggplant, and mushrooms with no sauce on it, and a plate of fries, and that's it for two people. It would have been $20. So that was a difference of $63.35. As you can see, $43.35 is like unaccounted for. What did we buy? Well, I'll tell you what we bought, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Supposedly this month, there was an ice cream on sale that was vegan. And we kept going to the store multiple times a week to go get this ice cream. And we were going crazy getting all these snacks and like junk food. Finally, on March 30th, 2.30 a.m., I go to the bathroom and I vomit everywhere. Like, I vomit everywhere. Like, I aimed right, right? I didn't do it like all over the floor. But... It's one of my nightmares to vomit. Like, I hate it so much. It gives me major anxiety, which is probably why I stood away from drinking and anything that would make me vomit. Um, after that, today, we had a healthy-ass meal, which I'm going to show you. Boop. <laughs> so this is completely changing the way that we're going to behave in April. The, the problem is that we got off of OMAD, uh, which is one meal a day, and we started going nuts with, like, with eating. 
and I didn't quite, uh, I wasn't quite going through intermittent fasting properly, like coming out of OMAD inter intermittent fasting. So we just felt like, oh my god, let's eat, let's eat, let's eat. Oh, it's Dimitri's birthday week, it's the birthday month, let's go crazy. Um, but now we're going to go back into intermittent fasting, which is eating twice a day, within like an eight or six hour period. And I'm looking forward to that. To just changing it and being more healthy. Car insurance is not due, zero dollars. Gas is supposed to be 80, actually is 100 because of all those extra trips to all of those stores. Ridiculous. I mean, you pay for it all around. Transportation, zero. My partner didn't go to New York, Patterson, Jersey City, nowhere. Phone bill, 50 all the time, perfect. Cascady, her food is usually supposed to be 50. We bought a, the wackest toy on the planet for her at $5 and some change, which is this toy. Don't buy it. Crap. Um... It, it requires batteries, it just like drains them very ridiculously and she doesn't care for the toy itself. I think this would be really good for kittens though. Um, life insurance, 518. My partner was his birthday so the gift that he got himself was zero shoes, which let me show you. We were, we were estimating that these would be 130 because he was actually going to get them from Vivo Barefoot, which oh my god, their shoes are like anywhere from like 100 and something to like $300. They're beautiful. <laughs> but they're beautiful, my partner said. Um, and he actually ended up getting these, which are Zero Shoes, X-E-R-O. So they're barefoot, and they're very wide and flat, like the human foot is supposed to be. Um, and they're very lightweight, and they, like, supposedly, they always have these pictures of them, like, rolling up into nothing. So you have that flexibility. Um, so, yeah, he got these. We kind of want to get into shoes like these. Um, and they were seventy three fifty eight which is amazing compared to these other brands so that saved us fifty six forty two and then USPS we shipped a few packages shipped a few of my partner's artist books which I showed you last month and um, we bought a book of stamps for like twelve dollars that I lost which if you saw my minimalist apartment tour I'm very organized so I have no idea where these book of stamps went like I don't I wonder if, if I shipped it to somebody in a package which they got lucky because they just got like a whole brand new book of stamps <laughs> a brand new book of stamps for free so that was 4430 and then my partner got this shirt right and this pair of pants which he's been wearing and killing this month as well and that was 1802. If you see his minimalist capsule wardrobe, which is also filmed on this channel, um, you'll see he only owns 33 pieces total, and he makes his wardrobe work for him. Then after like six months, which is ridiculous, what was the longest you've ever gone without an oil change? Because we waited six months, and that was 36.12. We went to a new place. The other place was like it was always like 28 dollars, and this one's like a lot more expensive, but it's closer. And I don't know how to justify that extra $8 because with the other place you get a lot more services than the one that's near us. Anyway, um, and then my partner got me this book because this was actually a book that I wanted like four months ago. And it, it was just in the store, brand new, in like a Goodwill, brand new, not even, no bent creases or anything, no stickers on it or anything for $1. And I haven't cracked into it yet because I've been slowly eating his other book um but this is actually the one i wanted because you know if you if you practice being in the present moment instead of anticipating something that's gonna happen to you or focusing on things in your past then you're more likely to not have anxiety which i clearly have with me and i'm just like i need this book but i don't know if i'm ready to read it yet <laughs> And the last thing is we got two packs of batteries. I didn't know batteries came in like a low form and a high form because I haven't had batteries in this house for a long ass time. But apparently you could get like low drain or like low level batteries which are just like for remotes and other things and then you have to get high energy, like high ones, I don't really get it, for like toys and video games and stuff. So I bought the wrong batteries the first time being cheap as hell, trying to get a better unit price, eight for a dollar. And then I had to buy another pack that was like three for a dollar. So that was 206 and the toy still sucks. Moving on, that was like everything we spent, <laughs> which is a crazy month for us. Uh, we were expecting to invest 1325.18 and we actually invested 1459.56. And it that was only a difference of 134.38. 
Um, so overall, if you take what we invested away from what we earned this month, it was $795.27 that we get to put away into the bank for, I'm not having a wedding, but like for the little court marriage thing that I intend to do. So this is us sort of at our worst. This is us just being very loose, buying whatever we want, going out unconsciously. Um, it, it probably isn't that bad, but it's bad to us because like, I think total our expenses, like our actual primary expenses are only like $1,200 or something and I just kind of disappointed myself with that food budget, but I knew in the moment when I was being greedy, we were anticipating that the, that the following next months are going to be very high in cost. We actually plan on buying a vehicle in about two months. We already have one, but we plan on buying a vehicle. We're going to be paying um, insurance once a month for the car instead of, you know, once every six months. So we are anticipating that things are just going to be getting significantly more expensive from this point forward, which sucks. But um, we're consciously making those decisions. Uh, how are your budgets going? It's already April. We're a quarter of the way through the month. No, we're not. We're a quarter of the way through the month. The year? We're a quarter of the way through the year. <laughs> So how's it going for you? Are you just throwing out certain budgets? I hope that you all enjoyed this video or found it helpful. Um, please comment down below and let me know what you think.